I will say this is also a, uh, a I just want to have fun day because I remember this game is fun. I, I have played, I played through Pikmin 1 and 3. I have not played through Pikmin 2 and I'm currently avoiding the demo of 4 because I've already determined I'm going to get 4 so I'm just going to play it when it comes out rather than worrying about the uh, demo. Let's see, what are... What are our sound options? Yeah, let's, let's turn this up a little bit. It feels a little on the quiet side, even though I boosted thing. Actually, you know what? Let me just boost it a little bit more. Hopefully that'll help. But yeah, let's just start right in. I am also playing with, even though it looks like I'm holding a single controller, I'm going to be playing with uh, disjointed Joy-Cons because, I'm, again, I'm assuming it's going to control similar to how 3 did. But... Let's start. It is us. It is the best spaceship in this game. Well, I say best, but uh, also here's, you know, a thing that beats it. Super advanced spaceship. No match for a rock. Though it did actually hold up pretty well, considering that rock was almost as big as this spaceship. And there we go, with all these parts just falling off as we do our, you know, entrance into the atmosphere. Also, please do let me know if the volume seems a little bit low or whatnot, because it, it, it feels low on my side, but I just want to confirm how it feels on uh, the stream side. Ah, yes, our beautiful husk of a spaceship. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then... No. Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. My voice is... My voice is louder, but okay. Uh, equal, e equilibrium based, like balance between the two, does that seem good is really what I'm wondering. Oh, and it also finally got a bit louder. Hey, here we go. I kind of lost track as to where the onion was. Then again, it has you zoomed in so far, you're not supposed to see it as easily. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we called an onion. I shall call this an onion, too. Yep, the entire naming convention of this is everything reminds Olimar of uh, vegetables from his planet. The seed that the onion dropped took, a, took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press the A button. We have our first member of the Legion of Please Stop Running Into the Fire. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature. Not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. 
I believe I should call it, uh, Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive. And yet, I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will try- and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to pressing X or moving right stick while holding L as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. And here are, here are our camera controls. Uh, let me confirm. Zoom. There we go. Those are the main ones I needed. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. Well, I missed that. Okay, so it's not doing the control scheme I was expecting yet. But that might be something I didn't change. I was expecting partial motion control. Astonishing. The onion has shown has sown more sheep nah, more seeds. The small red pell pellet. Wow, tongue tied all over. The Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to need a, seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Okay, hold on. Do I have... There we go! Motion controls on, please! Uh, hello? Motion controls... Why did you know turn on? Okay, well, we'll figure out what the heck's going on with that in a bit. Oh, okay, I see. It does the motion controls only when I start picking them up to throw. All right, all right, that's not too bad. Well, I almost have enough. I don't remember it zooming in every time you go uh, close to that. Let's get that, and I need one more, you. There is another pellet up here, I saw. You know, it's just going to be faster if I carry you. The seeds. So, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let the other one stay down that. No, 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 stop. That's too many, Olimar. That wasn't what I was expecting, but you know what? I'll take it. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall, I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and hold A to throw, A to grab, release to throw, B to call them, X to dismiss, move right stick while holding L to command and control. Ah, that's how you do that. That's how you do the whistle, okay. Uh, use ZL for up, down, left, or up, down, left, right con to control perspective. Okay. 
There we go. Well, I didn't mean to send him over here, but we found our engine, everybody. Amazing. There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how will I get it back to the dolphin? Well, I already know I don't have enough Pikmin. Okay. S stop falling down there. Now, with this, we should eventually have enough. Because this needs, what, 25? 20. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we need some more Pikmin to be made. Is there any... Is there a snow? There's no pellet up there. Well, it looks like we're almost done with day one. I could wait and let them all grow, but, uh, also, if I remember, there's a place of nectar right at the start of, uh, day two, or, uh, the next area. So, you know what? Why worry about it? When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to pick... I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by holding A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Pay attention to these differences or paying attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between po uh, Pokemon. Between Pikmin. I, I guess they're kind of Pokemon. Not really, but kinda. Yeah, let's pluck all of them because uh, after I bring this engine back, I'm pretty sure the day ends. You! There you go. Yes, my minions. Bring back my engine! Just don't get caught in it, please. Slowly, slowly, they bring back the crucial piece. Day one in this game is always slow because it's the basic tutorial. After this, I'm pretty sure things will get a little bit more hectic. Oh god, the engine has repaired the hull! Or at least a little bit of the hull. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off! The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. I do enjoy the, uh, end of day song and whatnot. Almar's also really lucky that he crash landed on an area that doesn't have any, uh, <laughs> you know, no real threats. One day since impact, I have managed to some, excuse me, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin. But I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. 
or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Huck, uh, Huckatate. Huckatate, I think is how it is. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below, as it holds the, as it holds the keys to my survival. I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. And the graph that will eventually have a sharp decline on some days. Hopefully I don't have any left behind, but I know I will have a large number die in battle and die from drowning. Cause I am not great at controlling Pikmin.